A crack team are setting out across Seven Oaks on a mission. They're there on a big red bus to tell everyone about Dick Whittington coming to the newly opened Stag Theatre for the first professional panto the town has seen in six years. Amongst the team are Michelle Gale, famous for her chart success and being in EastEnders. Yeah, I love the idea of being a baddie because I'm so used to being kind of like the good guy. Lucy Dixon, famous for being in BBC One's hit drama Waterloo Road. Please come and watch our show. It, um, I've read the script. It's very funny. There's lots of really good songs that people will know. We've changed them a little bit. Um, but yeah, really fun, really bubbly, really energetic. And Tony Haygarth, Olivier Award nominated actor, famous for, well, I've just done loads and loads of stuff. I, I can't remember half the things I've done. I've done animated films, I mean, Chicken Run being one of the most famous. I've done all sorts of other things. I've done um, pirates, I've done Vikings, I've done films, I've been in, I've been in all the, every, all, just about almost probably every TV cop series that's ever been, I've probably been at least one or two episodes of it, you know. I've been, I did a couple of Morses playing different characters, I did a couple of Sharps playing different characters, I've been in the Hornblowers, I've been in QC, I've been in, uh, in ca um. First stop is Amherst Primary School. <laughs> Next up is Seven Oaks Prep. And then the wilderness school. After the whirlwind schools tour, it's back on the bus to Seven Oaks to pop into the Seven Oaks Chronicle. And then back to the stag for tea and cakes with the mayor. <laughs> and this is uh, Tony Hagar. Thank you so much. Hello, Tony. Very nice to see you. Yeah, thank you very much indeed. Fantastic. Yeah. But there's not much time for cakes in the cut and thrust of a panto tour as the bus sets off to meet and greet the public at Sainsbury's. I'm currently talking to lots and lots of people about our lovely pantomime Dick Whittington that will be on starting Saturday the 12th of December at the Stag Theatre in Seven Oaks. You should come. It's wonderful. Um, we're all on there. So yeah, come. Finally, back to the stag again, and there's just time for some last-minute rehearsals before the evening's big launch with the movers and shakers from the local area. Would you like to drink champagne out of my slipper? Would you like a song for the match The event is being compared by breakfast show hosts James and Gemma on Fox FM, who are supporting the Panto Factor, giving the public a chance to be part of the Panto. Hello, Silly Billy. Isn't it fantastic launching Dick Whittington? It opens on Saturday, the 12th of December. Yeah. But um, the great thing about this one is it's, it's, a, it's a pantomime with a little bit of extra with the whole panto factor that Hart's involved in. Yeah, panto factor, you're going to be looking for somebody to play the role of Dick Whittington. Anybody, anybody can take part. So if somebody out there themselves or knows somebody that reckons they're a bit of an actor but haven't had a chance to get into it, 
Come along, audition, right. you could be Dick Wickenson. Mm. So Stag Theatre, Seven Oaks, Saturday 12th of yep. December to 2nd of January 2010, you could be part of it, playing the lead role of Dick Whittington. And those that were there at the event from across the ages seem excited about the prospect of Panto coming back to Seven Oaks. The great thing about getting the Panto back here, of course, is it links in. It links in the schools, the younger people, the next generation of theatre girls. That's where your first theatre you go to. It's the Panto. So it starts the whole process off and brings it together. And I hope, therefore, more people will come to the theatre itself. My name's Georgia and I'm in the pub. And watching the Panto must be really good because it's got loads of famous people in intergenerational, grandparents bring grandchildren. Um, it was one of our key targets for the reopening was to have a commercial pantomime which we're very pleased to have with Creative and so we hope it all goes well, I'm sure it will. The signs are very promising. Uh, it's good because Seven Oaks didn't really have it and I know that lots of people I know um, have always wanted the stag to come back when it wasn't opened and um, to have a pantomime and stuff. So it's good to have it here because it's good for like the children and it's good for it's good for everyone. It's good family fun. Oh, it's wonderful. I'm really looking forward to it, and I know an awful lot of other people are looking forward to it as well. Um, I've been in uh, Casualty. I've been in the Bill. I've been in you name it, and name it, name it. I've, every single show that's been on, I've been in all sorts of things. Um,